Hi, my name is Dave Ferkstein. I'm director of product at Pinecone, and I'm going to show an example using semantic search. We're going to do it with metadata filtering, which is a new capability in Pinecone version 2.0. To start, I'm going to go ahead and import the Python client for Pinecone. I'm going to use a sentence transformer model for generating the embeddings of text and you know, pulling in a couple of Python libraries as well. In this case, the data set we're going to use is 200,000 articles. It's taken from 200,000 articles, and it's the titles of these articles, and they're from 18 different uh, publications, news articles, uh, magazines. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that data in. We can take a look at what it looks like. So it's the title only. We're going to be working with titles. Uh, the publication that it appeared in and the date when it appeared in terms of the year. And then just an index that counts from zero on up to 200,000. We're going to use a sentence transformer. And this is from that package I imported earlier and gonna pretty much use it out of the box. And we're going to transform each of the titles into a vector. And so, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that right here, um, model.encode. And we're gonna put them back into the table of data. Let's take too long. <clears throat> and we can look at what the data looks like now. And so you can see that we have the title of the publication, the year, and now the beginning of the vector is shown here, um, a vector that encodes each one of these titles. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up Pinecone. And so I can run this code to initialize. And we can see I have some indices already created. I could create a new index, but in fact, I'm gonna to connect to one that I already have. I'll save us a little bit of time. I'm gonna show you next how I would upsert all the vectors uh, that we just created. As well, and this is again new for version 2.0, is I'm going to add to it some metadata. So here I have the index number, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm gonna uh, save it as a string. I'm gonna take the vector, which is 300 floating point numbers in this case for each title. And I'm gonna use metadata. I'm gonna have the year, the publication, the title, and we're gonna pack that into a dictionary and upsert uh, for each vector, the ID, the vector itself, and the metadata. We can do that for the first 10. You can see it's relatively quick, um, but I'm not gonna take the time to do all 200,000. You can trust me that I did that earlier. And we can see a summary. These are vectors that are each 300 dimensions and yeah, 200,000 entries. So now let's query. Let's suppose I was looking for titles that were similar to spaceships from Mars. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my phrase, spaceships from Mars, and we're gonna pass it into the model again, and we'll get a vector embedding. And now I can query against that vector embedding, and we're gonna look for the top five and see what the results are. And here are the results. Here you can see the similarity score, uh, and this was by cosine similarity. And so these are, right, similarity score by cosine. And here are the IDs. And I can go ahead and pull them all into uh, a list of IDs, pull them out of this data structure, and we can take a look and see what they look like. And here we go. So <clears throat> the titles of the similar titles are things that, yeah, they have to do with Mars and space travel. And you can see the different publications they came from and their vectors. So this is great. And now let's go ahead and add filtering. Suppose I wanted to only look at a specific publication. Suppose that publication was a new inquiry. And I, I picked that one because I'm not actually interested in space travel. Uh, let's say I'm more interested in science fiction. New inquiry is a journal dedicated to literature. So what I can do is again, uh, you know, we have our phrase and this time I'm going to apply a filter and I'm gonna say only pull from publications um, that match the name new inquiry. So we can run that and we get another set of IDs and we can take a look at the results now and we see that they are related to space and they are fiction. So we have science fiction results. More importantly, they all come from the publication, The New Inquiry. And so what we just accomplished was we did a proximate nearest neighbor search and we did it on a subset of all the vectors that we had in our data set, the subset of those vectors that have a metadata publication matching New Inquiry. What I wanna say is this is particularly exciting because it happened as a single stage. It happened at the time that we were doing the vector search and it is incredibly efficient. If we were to measure the times, we would see that the time for this query is a fraction of the time in terms of latency as the prior query because it's searching over a much smaller number of publications. So with that, I hope you give version 2.0 a try and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.